In a world obsessed with material wealth and constant busyness, there's an often overlooked resource that surpasses them all in value, time. It's a currency we all possess in equal measure, yet it's how we spend this precious commodity that defines the quality of our lives. There's a poignant scene in a famous movie where people, despite their immense material wealth, find themselves helpless in the face of a looming disaster. It's a stark reminder that no amount of riches can buy back lost time. Time is irreplaceable, and once it's gone, there's no getting it back. Yet, in everyday life, the common refrain echoes, I don't have enough time. It's a convenient excuse, a shield against accountability. But the truth is, the scarcity of time is often a matter of priorities and choices. We have the power to shape our days, deciding what takes precedence and what can be relegated to the periphery. It's not about the lack of time, it's about how we choose to allocate it. Reclaiming time for meaningful activities doesn't always require a drastic overhaul of our routines. Sometimes, it's the small habits that make the most significant impact. Consider the power of efficient sleep routines. I, too, have faced the challenge of restless nights and groggy mornings. However, by making intentional lifestyle changes, prioritizing sleep, and creating a conducive environment for rest, I've experienced a boost in energy and productivity. Minimizing unnecessary activities is another tiny yet transformative habit. We often fill our days with tasks that bring little value to our lives. By identifying and cutting out these time-wasting activities, we create space for what truly matters. It's about quality over quantity, making each moment count. Valuing leisure time is crucial in this quest to reclaim our most valuable resource. In a society that glorifies hustle culture, we must recognize the importance of downtime. Leisure isn't a luxury, it's a necessity for a balanced, fulfilling life. Finding activities that rejuvenate the mind and body is an investment in our overall well-being. Delegating tasks is a strategy often underutilized in the pursuit of time optimization. Whether it's outsourcing chores or paying for services that save time, delegating allows us to focus on what we do best. It's a recognition that our time has value and certain tasks are better handled by those with the expertise or resources to expedite them. Commute time is a silent thief of our days, stealing precious moments that could be better spent elsewhere. Choosing a home closer to work might seem like a simple decision, but the cumulative time saved over the long term is substantial. It's a trade-off between a longer commute and more time for personal pursuits. Task efficiency is a principle that echoes in both personal and professional spheres. A simple shift to a more efficient tool or process can save not only time but also money. I've personally experienced the impact of adopting technology that streamlines tasks, allowing me to allocate my time more judiciously. When contemplating career choices, it's imperative to consider the time commitment involved. Success often comes with sacrifices, but it's crucial to align career choices with personal values. I've navigated the demanding landscape of a high-stakes career, and while it brought professional success, the toll on personal time was significant. It's a delicate balance that requires introspection and a conscious choice of priorities. In the age of constant connectivity, Social media and incessant notifications can devour our time without us realizing it. Turning off notifications is a simple yet effective strategy to regain control. It reduces distractions, allowing us to focus on tasks at hand and, in turn, freeing up time for more meaningful activities. Filling the gaps is a mindset shift that can be life-changing. Instead of viewing short intervals as inconsequential, we can leverage these moments to get work done. Whether it's responding to emails during a break or jotting down ideas during a commute, 
utilizing these small gaps accumulates into a significant reclaiming of time. In conclusion, time is the most valuable resource we possess, and how we spend it shapes the narrative of our lives. The perception of not having enough time is often a smokescreen for misplaced priorities and choices. Reclaiming time doesn't always necessitate drastic changes, it can be achieved through small habits and intentional choices. From optimizing sleep efficiency to delegating tasks, each strategy contributes to a more fulfilling and balanced life. It's a call to action, urging us to recognize the worth of our time and take conscious steps to invest it where it truly matters. Before you go, help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.